Now, some isotopes of elements have a nucleus which is unstable. And in order to become stable, that nucleus can emit radiation. And radiation comes in three types, three main types. We've got an alpha particle that can be spat out of the, of the nucleus. And an alpha particle is two positively charged protons together with two neutrons. And that's quite a heavy particle. In fact, that's the same particle that Rutherford used to investigate the structure of an atom. When he shot these particles at a gold foil, he found a, uh, an, an element whose isotope was unstable and was decaying by alpha emission. That's what decaying means. It means it's radioactive and it's spitting out radiation particles. Now that's one type. The other type of radiation that can be spat out of the nucleus, which is quite surprising actually, is called a beta particle. And a beta particle is actually a high-speed electron. Now that's just weird, because electrons are around the outside of an atom. They're orbiting in clouds outside the atom, a long, long, long way away from the nucleus. And this nucleus is a lot bigger than it actually is. It's much, it's much, much smaller. But these beta particles get emitted from the nucleus. And it's a very strange process which happens in the, in the nucleus, but essentially a, a neutron changes into a proton, which stays in the nucleus, but spits out this high-speed electron. And finally, the other type of radiation that can come from the nucleus is called gamma radiation. And gamma radiation is not a particle at all. It's actually a wave. Gamma radiation or gamma waves. It's a type of electromagnetic radiation. And that helps the nucleus to give out a bit of energy and become stable. So let's have a look at this flashcard and see if we can make sense of the, the gaps. The nuclei of some isotopes, remember isotopes, an isotope is an element which has the same number of protons but different number of neutrons. But the nuclei, nuclei of some of these isotopes are unstable and may decay randomly. What do I mean by randomly? Well, we can't affect this, this nuclear decay, this nuclear radiation emission. We can't heat it up, uh, the atom up. It won't make any difference. Or we can't predict when it's going to spit out an alpha particle. It, might, it just might happen tomorrow, it might happen now, it might happen in a thousand years. We don't know. So that's what's meant by random, and that's a classic exam question, actually. What is meant by random? But they can decay randomly by emitting radiation, radiation particles, and these substances are said to be radioactive, radioactive. Okay, and you often see this radioactive sign. It's a warning sign saying that there is some material that has um, can emit radiation. Now, let's see. Um, yes, background radiation. Background radiation is all around us. It comes from sources all around us, including natural sources, and the natural sources of background radiation are things like radon gas, radon gas, which is all around us in small concentrations. It can come from cosmic rays from the sun and from outer space. It can even be in your food and drink and buildings and the ground. So choose one of those for an example or two of those. So let's choose the biggest couple as choose radon gas and cosmic rays because they're quite fun such as radon gas and cosmic rays cosmic rays 
But background radiation also comes from man-made sources and man-made sources are mostly medical like x-rays and radiotherapy used in hospitals. There's a tiny amount of radiation in the background that comes from nuclear power and weapons testing um, and from other sources but most of it, most artificial sources are medical. So we'll say such as medicine brackets, x-rays that you'd get to check if you've broken your bones or we'll even say radiotherapy which is used therapy which is used to treat cancer. So there's this flashcard all about isotopes and how they can be unstable and emit radiation.